Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Story. A former Walmart worker speaks out a week after the mass shooting at the store in Chesapeake. It's a story that matches the worker's story we reported yesterday. One that came with a $50 million lawsuit. Police and the FBI are still actively investigating the shooting that took the lives of six Walmart employees. Yesterday, we told you about the account given by a worker suing Walmart over the shooting and the shooter's previous behavior. Tonight, another former worker is telling her stories and worries about the shooter. Senator Times Haley Mylon is live now in Chesapeake with that for us. Haley? Yeah, Lena Tom, that worker says she would like to remain anonymous throughout the course of the investigation, but she describes the shooter's fraught relationship with his team members at Walmart. She says that he was verbally abusive. He drove her to seek therapy and eventually quit. But that was after she went to Walmart corporate complaining about him, but nothing changed. But I felt like he would try something like this. I was not surprised when someone knew me. The woman worked under the shooter for almost a year, claiming that he would jeer his staff, attack their performance, and make unsettling comments. He would always tell me how much he hated people. She says she began therapy because of abuse from her boss. He also made a speech that he was going to put the fear of God in the associates. After that comment, the woman contacted Walmart's corporate office, and she wasn't the only one. A lot of people went to management. She says the issue was referred back to store management and little was done. She says she felt her job was threatened after she complained. One manager asking if she still had a second job. I didn't know what to think of it. Um, I, was I was getting more and more creeped out by his behavior because it became more erratic over time. She left her job at Walmart in May, but says she knew right away who was responsible for the mass shooting at the store. I immediately said his name. She knew three of the people killed, fondly remembering Randy Blevins, Lorenzo Gamble, and Brian Pendleton, saying that aside from the shooter, the overnight crew was, quote, like a family. And she says she wishes warnings about the shooter's behavior could have saved her friends' lives. I would like them to pay attention to the <laughs> their employees, because the employees are really what makes the store run. Now, I reached out to the retailer's corporate office communication department asking for a statement or a response to the allegations that this woman shared with me. They didn't have a specific response to this story. However, I was referred to the response to the story that we ran yesterday about that $50 million lawsuit. That is coming from a different woman. So two different people, they're giving the same response here. That statement is over on wavy.com. Live in Chesapeake, I'm Haley Mylon, Ted on your side. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.